in this part three of this uh, writing rule series or uh, playlist we're going to do something different. We, we showed before how you can find this on the QID of the category but let's uh, or any of the custom properties that we saw in, in part two that are extracted but when the guys the developer or yourself if you use the DSM editor write uh, their videos for that as well if you write your own parser you're not going to extract everything that can possibly come in there you only extract the things that are important for example this level we in here says log always uh, I don't believe it is extracted as a custom property at all yeah it's not but why if we want without having to modify the parser uh, what if I want this rule to be true and therefore an offense fire or whatever action I want to take not always you have to fire offenses uh, when the rules are matched you can increment counter you can put stuff on reference set more on that later etc but let's say that I want to fire I want to modify the rule that we've been working with and I want it only to fire when in the payload there is the word always how do we do that well I think it's not going to be difficult if we go to our rule this is the way we left it uh, let's remove this test condition and I'm gonna probably create a video about you know you don't pay for extra rules that you add into curator that's a good thing but uh, you need to watch the performance and then probably we'll do a video on ex on how you determine whether your rules are being too expensive in terms of CPU cycles because even if you, you don't pay for it you want to make sure that you don't bug your hardware uh, by doing searches uh, so for example if we do this event matches event matches uh, an AQL query and you make this AQL query all the logs in the past five years and stuff well that rule is going to be pretty damn expensive so you don't want to do that right but back to our topic we want this particular rule to be true only when the word always after this test condition has been evaluated only for windows logs only when it's this particular category we want to add a condition that the the word always is part of the payload even though it has not been extracted by the parser so if we put here payload and we have a condition just for that and we put this string here and we put the word always and we submit that we finish that and uh, let's actually go back to the offenses and make sure that we don't have any offense uh, that that's fired today all, all of the all of them are at least one day old we go back to the log activity return to the event list we go real time we replay the very same log we've been using pang we go here I need to post this to pivot inside the particular log and when I look at the rules that fire in here yep member added to a Windows log group which is the one that we did and in fact if you want to be triple sure you go to the offenses tab and you refresh that and you should get that offense that fire on one event and of course when you look at that event it fired well it hasn't been it hasn't come uh, I mean it takes a minute or so to get everything in, in sync so let's actually pause the video for in order to make sure that we can actually see that that event that uh, curator has updated all these things okay so let's click on that event and that's the same event that we saw in the log activity tab and because the word always was in the payload yeah, there it is regardless of the fact that has not been extracted as a custom property we got that rule of fire but we intuitively uh, can 
see that this rule will take a little bit more performance uh, to fire uh, than the one that we show before. So, in the next section, we're going to explore other things that we can use to eval to get uh, rules to be evaluated with payload. And I'm working just with logs, but the same thing can be done also with flows. And maybe I'll do a video on that as well.